on this channel. I'll be talking about whatever I fucking want. <sighs> oh boy. Sometimes I do despise the commentary community for not actually being more educated on serious situations that are happening all around us. And today I just want to talk about this. And if you haven't heard of Turkey Tom before, good, I don't expect you to. But Turkey Tom is a commentary YouTuber with 983,000 subscribers. He also has a second channel called Tom Dark with 234,000 subscribers. Turkey Tom was born and raised in Boston, Massachusetts. And, uh, well, he made a terrible trolling joke about Israel, or at least about Penguin Zero making a video about an Israel drama. So, Tom's Twitter account Anne and Bird, the two Ds, says, can't wait to see his take. There are a lot of responses on Twitter about this because a lot of people thought that Penguin Zero actually did make a video about it and I'm about to set the record straight. Is real drama? Low. Maybe let the grown-ups take this one and focus on video game reviews. Uh, for your information, he does not do video game reviews. He's a commentary channel who mainly talks about internet drama, also a bunch of other random stuff, but not the war. But even if Penguin Zero ever actually did talk about the war, he would do it in a much responsible, respectful, and serious manner. Not to title the video as Massive Israel Drama. T B W L 195 says, dude, don't even try. And Tom says, I watched the video myself. Oh, really? So did you watch a video that says biggest waste of money ever? Because that's what the title of that video is. Show a clip then. He deleted, scrubbed it clean. It's out there. Deep web. Turkey Tom. You're not actually helping your case here. Rick's film says, should have pointed out it was a joke. Didn't need to make it look so real. I 1000% agree with this. He shouldn't have to make it so real. The fact that he did is malicious on his part. Everyone knows this is fake, right? No, they're Twitter users. This is the internet. What did you expect people to do? Research on their own to verify if something is real? Hell no. Ain't nobody got time for that. Unfortunately, Ghost Pepper is right. Twitter users are most likely not able to fact check before they spew out or for lack of uh, a better word they're not exactly the type that would just go and do their research to see if penguin zero actually uploaded that video just to look on his channel and see that an 18 minute nine second video has been saying the massive Israel drama from 11 days ago, which did not happen. Most people in the comments didn't even bother to take two seconds to see if this was real. 
classic. I mean, yeah. Like I said before, Twitter users are not exactly known for taking two minutes to do their research, which is why Twitter users only resort to do community notes instead, because that's easier. Crazy how people won't take just two seconds out of their day to verify if something is real before commenting on it. Yeah, it would be better for people to do that. But as the last guy says, ain't nobody got time for that. Meaning that nobody has the time out of their day to check to see if it's real. If they were to have time, they wouldn't be busy off the internet. It's honestly disturbing that today, you can just post a photo and people will believe you. Like, this is the evolution of, it's on the internet, it must be true. Now it's like, there is a photo, so it must be true. Completely ignore all the tech that is available today to alter images and videos. If it's there, it must be true. Yep, that's the sad reality that this generation must continue to live on because they are not capable enough to do their due diligence to look up on the internet to check to make sure that Turkey Tom's claims were correct and they weren't. It's because Twitter is literally designed for misinformation now. You legit get paid to lie. I agree with you, but at the same time, I don't. Like Twitter's monetization is okay, and it's a good thing. And it allows creators to make some money doing what they like. People are the problem. Because they abuse the system and farm engagement and negativity to make quick and easy money. The tech and system itself, it's fine. How people use it is the problem. But indeed, they should implement some kind of system to prevent this. Like if you spread plain disinformation, make stuff up, you should be excluded from monetization. I mean, it's a joke on an account full of jokes. Like this isn't a 1984 moment blow. People didn't pick up on jokes on Twitter well before it was monetized. That is true, especially sarcasms. Every time I would see someone trying to make a sarcastic remark on Twitter, I just couldn't get it because the text doesn't let you know that you're being sarcastic. Turkey Tom thinks it's funny to mislead people to spread misinformation on the internet. He tweets this stupid meme from ifunny.com saying when I purposely spread misinformation over the internet. It has this blue emoji with the weird eyes and mouth covering over it, holding his lap. In this video from his second channel, we do a little trolling. He talks about why he trolled, why he thinks it's funny, and I'll talk about what I think Twitter is actually used for. And as soon as Tom uploaded that video, well, let's just say that he has some comments that are, of course, against what he uh, did. You've literally made false claims about other YouTubers that spread like wildfire and almost got them in trouble only for it to blow up on your face because you can't even bother to look deeper and see these subjects yourself. And then when you're called out for it, you pull the it's just a prank bro excuse. What a joke. You've done the same to Mr. Enter and Pyrocynical, yet not only have you not learned anything, you still refuse to take 
accountability. Yes, because what's happening at Israel right now isn't a funny joke. Bro, this is not trolling. This is you being a jackass. This wasn't funny and I don't see the humor in my king of death of thousands of people. Especially those who did nothing wrong, but are now dead, their heads cut off, and their bodies used as celebration tools. And don't forget that the Israelis were taken hostage by Hamas. And yeah, I don't see the humor in trolling somebody when it comes to serious situations that are happening, that are happening all around our planet. Like, if you want to troll, try to troll about something that isn't involving a serious situation. That could help. I mean, my only issue is, like, people dying on that shit right now. Maybe not joke about it, but what do I know? 100% agree. Not only is it true what you said, but the people on Twitter actually believed his screenshot, which led to Charlie getting hate on Twitter. LMAO. See, Turkey Tom, you could do better. Okay, now listen. I understand that it's the internet. I understand that people like to make jokes on the internet when something bad has happened all across our planet because if they think it helps them cope from tragedy just to laugh at something that isn't so serious. But what you actually failed to realize is that the internet is mostly a place to learn and to get trusted information from a trusted news source. It's not really just a place where you can only be stupid. And it's not just for trolling. You seem to forget, Turkey Tom, that the internet in general is the information superhighway. Which means we're supposed to get information from all walks of life. That's what Twitter is. And yeah. I already told you what Twitter is for, but you needed to hear it again because you do not understand the whole concept as to why what the internet is for. Also, if you really, really wanted to talk about Israel, then do that by not making a joke or a troll that would mislead people or anger people. At least get yourself educated before you try to make something out of it for fun. At the end of the day, people just don't appreciate trolls. Please do better, Turkey Tom. Please. So first things first, before we get into anything, okay? Before we get into anything, I need to make I need to make a statement because I thought it was so funny. Ladies and gentlemen, we did a little trolling. We did a little trolling recently. So last night after stream, the stream concluded, I was just chilling out, okay? I was chilling out, I was in bed, and I decided I would get up to a little bit of a little bit of tomfoolery, a little bit of trolling. Why did you do? Why do it? I don't think anyone would be mad. I thought they would just like get it. But a few people were mad. So I post this picture, which is clearly like, it's clearly Photoshop. It says massive Israel drama with Critical's face. Cause I thought it was, I thought the idea that Critical would make a video about like a genuine political, geopolitical conflict is hilarious, right? Cause obviously he wouldn't. Cause he's like a drama YouTuber, daily slop content creator. And keep in mind, like I'm a Critical fan. I like his stuff. I just thought the idea that he would make a video about something serious was really funny. It wasn't funny because all that tweet does is mislead people into actually thinking that he did it. So I made this tweet. I made this tweet says, can't wait to see his take. Here we have him, massive Israel drama. You can see here that like the description is obviously not even related to it, but even outside of like, you don't need that to know that this is fake. Like you can just do one Google search or even without that, you can just 
reasonably ascertain that Critical is probably not going to be doing a video about Palestine and Israel. Like, he's not going to be weighing in like, so what's up guys? I just want to talk about the conflict on the Gaza Strip today. So I know a lot of people are mad about the untold war crimes happening, but honestly, I feel like the bigger thing people aren't, you know, taking into consideration is the fact that Israel just took a giant diarrhea dookie poop right on Palestine, okay? They're seriously going after him with the diarrhea bombs, okay? They're sending in the IDF, and they're really causing a real poopy rocket. Like, yeah, obviously he's not going to make that video, because that would be ridiculous. But I thought the idea that he would was so funny. Okay, well, I actually would give that critical impression a five, just because it actually sounded like Hank Hill, not Moist Critical. So just putting that out there. So I tweet this out. A few people got the joke. I assume the people who gave it a like got the joke. But then a bunch of people at first when I posted it just believed that he actually made this video and were like, Critical sucks. Can't wait to see him fence in on this political issue. It's like, dude, why would he ever make a video about Israel and Palestine? Like, what are you, are you, you idiot? And also, I don't think he's like really a fence sitter. A lot of people say this. A lot of people like hate him because he's a fence sitter, okay? I think he's just like a normal person who has like relatively agreeable takes because he's like more. He's just an average dude, and that's okay. Like, that's why people like him. It's relatable, obviously. But a bunch of people are like, man, he just won't speak out on the side of Israel. Palestine needs critical support. So there are people who are, who are like, mad at that. So buckle your seatbelt, because we're about to take a trip to Wacky Town. At first, there's a bunch of people who are like, yeah, this guy said Israel drama. Lol. Maybe let the grown-ups take this one and focus on video game reviews. Like, dude, obviously he's not, obviously he's not making a video about Israel. Leafy, not here, lol, says, what happened to Charlie? Man, he used to be top-notch without drama. I mean, I really like critical before he started talking about geopolitical conflict some people got the joke this person monkey spit says finally a reliable source to talk about the whole situation this guy says drama for the tank like some people got it but then some people didn't get it and i think the reason why is because critical himself saw it i don't think he's mad at me i assume not if he is if he was mad at me and he like asked me to take it down because he thought it like hurt his reputation i would because i'm a nice guy i don't want to have static with the creators okay most people in the comments didn't even bother to take two seconds to see if this is real classic which is true a lot of people in the comments didn't take two seconds to see if it was real they just assumed that he actually actually made a video. They assume that Critical actually made a video about Palestine and Israel, which once again, obviously he didn't. Because you know that there are people on the internet that are going to believe in anything. They're not going to obviously check what's false and what's true, you idiot. You know that. You're 20 fucking one years old. Why would you think that someone on the internet, like myself, is going to automatically tell that it's a joke? It is not possible to tell when the sc screenshots are obviously gonna look like it's real. But then we had the people who were mad at the people who thought it was real. And also a bunch of people who were mad at me for like slandering critical and like destroying him or like trying to like ruin his reputation. So I posted this, <laughs> I posted this picture. This picture is awesome. Uh, when I purposefully spread misinformation over the internet, how cringe is it that my, my, like what I'm doing right now is just explaining Twitter. My life is a joke. Okay. Anyway. Well, at least I can actually agree with you with that part because yes, you are joke. You're... YouTube career is a joke. You're not taking anything seriously, which is just bad. Okay. This person said, damn, you suck whatever it is to go after. I said, I think you need your brain checked. They said, um, I think you need to get your facts checked, weirdo. Maybe don't get community noted. Like getting community noted is like the worst thing of all time to these people. Like, Twitter is, like, serious. I thought Twitter was for trolling and, like, being an adult, like an idiot. That's why I like Twitter. Well, you're wrong, you uneducated slime ball. Twitter is for getting your sports highlights, your latest news, your latest weather in your area, world news, you know, like the one in Israel. Twitter is also where you get your health information, or ecomonics, and information on how to vote, or where to go to vote where your favorite music artists can let you know when they drop their new music, where you get your politics, obviously. Also, where they expect a video game to come out if it's new. And yes, it's also for memes. 
but what you posted is technically not a meme. It is just blatant misinformation with a misleading title. But to a lot of people, it's like, people are like mad. They're like, you try to ruin, I don't even think Critical is mad. I don't think he is. I assume not, okay? If he was, because I like him and I respect him, and he asked me to take it down, I would. But I assume he doesn't care, and he's just gawking at the fact that people believed it. Which, it is insane that in the first place, anyone even believed it. But now it's like, I, I thought it was like a weak, like weak troll, like obvious troll. <laughs> but no. Um, I said, what? It's obvious is you cannot see what's in front of you. I showed picture and then I got eight replies, bro. Uh, they said, damn, that's crazy. The description says otherwise, almost like it's obviously Photoshop because this is how bored you are as a worthless human being. Keep in mind, whoever this person is, is like, like you're arguing with like me and Twitter replies. You're spending your life that you could be like making money or like, like doing anything worthwhile, like arguing with me. Instead of trolling to spread misinformation online, you could be doing something worthwhile such as going back to making commentary videos and making money off of it. Not become a terminally online person who just sits at home all day, never goes outside and just trolls all day because he or she doesn't have a life outside of the internet. And as soon as Tom uploaded that video, well, Let's just say that he has some comments that are course against what he uh, did. You've literally made false claims about other YouTubers that spread like wildfire and almost got them in trouble, only for it to blow up on your face because you can't even bother to look deeper into these subjects yourself. And then when you're called out for it, you pull the it's just a prank bro excuse what a joke you've done the same to mr enter and pyrocynical yet not only have you not learned anything you still refuse to take accountability yes because what's happening at, at israel right now isn't a funny joke bro this is not trolling this is you being a jackass this wasn't funny, and I don't see the humor in making the death of thousands of people, especially those who did nothing wrong, but are now dead, their heads cut off, and their bodies used as celebration tools. And don't forget that the Israelis were taken hostage by Hamas. And yeah, I don't see the humor in trolling somebody when it comes to serious situations that are, happening, that are happening all around our planet today. Like, if you wanna troll, try to troll about something that isn't involving a serious situation. That could help. I mean, my only issue is like people dying on that shit right now. Maybe not joke about it. But what do I know? 100% agree. Not only is it true what you said, but the people on Twitter actually believed his screenshot, which led to Charlie getting hate on Twitter. LMAO. See, Turkey Tom, you could do better. Okay, now listen. I understand that it's the internet. I understand that People like to make jokes on the internet when something bad has happened all across our planet because it, they think it helps them cope from tragedy just to laugh at something that isn't so serious. But what you actually failed to realize is that the internet is mostly a place to learn and to get trusted information from a trusted news source. It's not really just a place where you can only be stupid. And it's not just for trolling. You seem to forget, Turkey Tom, that the internet in general is the information superhighway, which means we're supposed to get information from all walks of life 
that's what Twitter is. And yeah, I already told you what Twitter is for, but you needed to hear it again because you do not understand the whole concept as to why what the internet is for. Also, if you really, really wanted to talk about Israel, then do that by not making a joke or a troll that would mislead people or anger people. At least get yourself educated before you try to make something out of it for fun. At the end of the day, people just don't appreciate trolls. Please do better, Turkey Tom. Please.